All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Zima is your channel, and we are back with the channel, but we're doing something different. Instead of me actually playing the game, I want to switch it up and I actually want to react to some videos. And the first videos, first couple videos we're going to react to, or maybe just one, uh, is going to be a horror video. So I uh, hope you guys are up for some scary videos this time of the night. I don't know if I can make it really dark in here. You guys can still see me. Hold on, I gotta look at my face cam for that shit. Can you can, can you guys see me? Am I seeable? It is pretty dark still. I guess when I go on the computer, it'll be light though, right? Let me see. Can't fucking tell. All right, I hope you guys can still see me. If not, I apologize. But we are going to react to some horror videos. And I am going to get scared. So, I'm going to go on YouTube. I'm going to check this guy named Chills out. I subscribe to him. He has a lot of good horror videos. Some are really, really frightening. Some are very questionable. And we're going to react to a couple vids. So, let's see which one we're going to... 30 scary videos caught on the dash cam footage. Probably not. Let's look for something a little bit tad bit scarier. Uh, something like this. 15 scary videos in instilling panic in viewers. So we'll take a look at this one here. Eve to me is basically freedom. It's a giant open universe where you can do whatever you want. Fuck you. Number 15. Here we go. Shadow figure. This couple captured a series of paranormal experiences on camera, oh. one of which included this strange shadow figure. I see it. YouTuber Dark Moose shares further creepy footage. That's creepy. Originally captured by IXEKAI. <laughs> Hearing the same noises that had been disturbing them, the woman investigates one night while on her own. You what? Is that hands? Oh, that's gotta be hands. Did you see that shit? Did you see that shit? Hands. Just fucking hands. And she, and she's about to go down there. Oh, did you see the eyes? Was that the dog eyes? The woman doesn't appear to notice the hands reaching out between the stairs. Hold on, let me see if I can pause it. If the eyes are pop the up. Are the hands detached or do they belong to something evil? And are they waiting to reach out and grab her? Many in the comments say the woman did notice the ghost hands as evidenced by her turning to look under the stairs. What's that? What's that? What was that? Did you see that shit? Wait, where am I at? As evidenced by her turning to look under Hold on, the I'm stairs. trying to get these eyes. Is it the dog? Maybe it is the dog right there. You see them? Maybe that is the dog. I think that is the dog. Okay, maybe that was the dog. Her love for her dog superseded her fear. In the end, I think it was probably better that she ran toward her fear instead of away from it. That seems to take away its power. Number 14, Creepy Crawler. These days, someone what the, is what? watching, but is it human? Trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community, this creepy clip was shared by YouTuber Blah Blah and credited to Indonesian YouTuber, but I don't believe this is the actual original source, so if you know its origins, please share that with me in the comments. The video shows a couple hanging out by a motorbike, completely unaware of their surroundings, and of what's creeping up behind them. What the fuck? Is that a person? How did they not see that? 
in fact, the couple looks like they're getting into a squabble, which distracts them from the Nightcrawler. His eyes are glowing, dude. Were they all eyes? All their eyes are glowing. Okay, that's just the camera. The crawler gets closer and closer. What is it doing? Crawling through the grass. It definitely looks human to me, but a true creep of a human if I ever saw one. My advice to this couple would be to stop arguing and get the heck out of there. Number 13. Port Arthur. Well, on a ghost. Where's the rest of that video? Port Arthur, Tasmania. Redditor Topher Lloyd's friend captured this. Is that a person? Something shifts in the darkened window of this old building. I can barely see it. Editor says it was in a restricted area, so it's not likely a person. Although it looks shifty to me, many in the comments aren't sold. Yeah, I don't know about this one either. <laughs> <laughs> Others Honestly, don't know. This is the real deal, saying that the moving object casts its own shadow. Well, I see that too. It does look like the camera person moves, so maybe it's just a trick of the light. If the footage was a bit longer, maybe we could find some answers. Number 12, The Return. After a frightening experience at this campsite, YouTuber Grizzly Gaz returns upon requests from his followers. If I was him, I'd never return again. As it gets dark, he starts hearing things. A whistle? That sounds like a bird to me. Nothing to worry about. Or is there? Later, Gaz finds his trail cam has fallen from its perch. Well, it's fallen off. Even more chilling is the footage he discovers on it. Oh, that's creepy. Someone's crouching down in front of the camera. What the fuck? As some in the comments note, this stranger's behavior is suspect, especially when he does this. Just place what it is there. This mystery man up to YouTubers in the comments have some thoughts. Spying on campers. Interesting. I agree with Fire Panda. This man is up to no good, and it seems like he is watching Gaz. How else would he have known the trail cam was hidden there? Damn. This shit is getting real. Number 11 Haunted Dolls. Are these dolls possessed? YouTuber Nightmare Junkie shares this freaky footage from a couple who has been experiencing paranormal activity. A security camera captures the source. What the fuck, dude? Annabelle! That's like an actual baby right there. <laughs> Seeing the chair move on its own, the guy waves a plank of wood behind it to test if anything is there. He then calls out to his partner for help. Huh? Is that a real baby? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck?
unrecorded official game. What the fuck? Shot fired! Shot fired! This is the game? What the fuck? Play for free. What the fuck? This looked like a fucking scam. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. 10 million downloads. I feel like I might get a virus if I download something from this. Every single game has about 10 million downloads. Oh, wow. I think we're getting a little bit sidetracked. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Let's get back to what we're doing. What the what? Fun. I don't blame him for fleeing. These clearly possessed dolls. That sudden movement would put me on edge as well. Fun. Will getting rid of the dolls get rid of the demon as well? Now that's the real question. Number 10. Ghost Boy. This poor ghost, ghost boy. just wants his mother. YouTuber Dennis of Dark Ghost Paranormal investigates a dark home with a live poltergeist. Discovering a rotary phone inside the place, he picks it up for a listen. He thinks the voice says mama. I don't hear that, but I'll take Dennis's word for it. Later, he captures noise in the next room, followed by footsteps. Scary, scary, scary. Oh, shit. The light shifts on the door frame, suggesting someone has entered. Footsteps. A steady cam captures more running footsteps. What the fuck? Then it captures this racket. Is this the child spirit of this home's former resident or a demon impersonating him? My guess would be a demon. Demons are a lot more crazier, I would assume. Those don't sound like the footsteps of a child to me. Number nine, Queen Mary. The Queen Mary has been called the world's most haunted ship, and YouTubers Mackie and Amanda are here to find out how spooky it is. As they explore, they quickly hear footsteps. I didn't really hear it. But maybe they're not the only guests here. Still, not long after, they hear a knock. Maybe not. Barely heard that. They start seeing things out of the corner of their eyes. Living in the corner, actually, like, oh, they started to be tall. Oh, it's very tall. Oh, okay. Put something touch my leg. Something touching my leg. Can you? I don't know about this. Series of events. The ghosts of the Queen Mary communicate loudly. Man, fuck these ads, dude. What the f That's enough for me. After seeing this video, I'm certain the Queen Mary has earned its title. I don't know about that one. That one seems... I don't know. I'm guessing this restaurant has been a bit... That one was a little, a little bit... Not much at all. And that could have been easily faked. I don't know. Or it could have been real. I mean, it wasn't too over, like, overly done. Like, they didn't show a lot of haunted stuff coming or on the camera. So, 
maybe that's a good thing, but that one seemed to kind of, uh, could have been fake. Could be fake. Who knows? Who knows? All right, let's continue here with eight. And then due to its terrible table service, YouTuber Chris of C's Crazy Crossroads explores this derelict restaurant and finds inanimate objects come alive here. Uh oh, that don't sound too good. After this scare, the spirits escalate their fear factor. Are you trying to tell me something? <clears throat> you can tell me something without throwing things at me or letting things hurt me, because I don't want to get hurt. Oh my goodness. Oh. He steps into the next room, and the table keeps moving. It is creepy. What the what? I would have been gone out of that one, dude. What's that light back there? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Chris starts playing a game of truth or dare that he's bound to lose. Go ahead. What the fuck is that puddle? I dare you. Yeah, I'm out of there. What was that little particle? It seems the demon loves to win. Is this demon feeding off of Chris's fear? I think that's exactly what's happening. And it's giving me the chills. Number seven. <laughs> chills. This house. this house has evil written all over it. YouTuber Kalani Ghost Hunter teams up with Exploring with Josh to pass the night in the Hell House LLC. As they explore, the guys hear something in the hallway. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I hear those. Really this time, footsteps are heard. Why did he keep looking at that thing? That was a loud one. That was right there. Yeah, that was right there. What? Why? What do you keep looking at that thing for? Footsteps. Even worse, through a recording device, they're delivered this message. What the fuck is he wearing? Wait, he was in the clown outfit? Okay, that was the box. But the team is hearing, let me out, but I hear, let me in. It seems to me that something in here is trying to possess them. I wouldn't let that demon out or in. I'd lock him up and throw away the key. Number six, poltergeist encounter. Being in the presence of a poltergeist is scary enough. It's a whole other story when that poltergeist full on confronts you. YouTube team Ghost Theory what experiences the fuck? this aggression while in this haunted mansion. Upstairs, they address the ghost. Is that you? There's one thing you need to do. If I can hit with at one more time. Don't spend another dime on Amazon you. until you watch this. I'm really drawn to that room. And once in the room, they hear something. Just let yourself be known to me. Oh my god. What the was that? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that him moving? What was. Oh. That was him. No. If you don't hit that, then that was in there again. The f Some more subtle noises are accompanied by K2 action. I'm not moving. Oh, it's like someone just. K2, K2, holy. F Why is it all happening at once? But later in the night, the poltergeist is done playing around. Whoa, whoa. My Did he get hit? Well, the guys weren't physically harmed. I'm sure they nearly had a heart attack with this one. It looked like he got hit, that dude. That would have sent me running. I have no doubt that this poltergeist means business. 
number five. All right, here's the last Brussels one pits. here. This place is the pit. YouTube team dimensions paranormal visits Devil's Pit, and almost immediately they get the chills. I don't know about this area. Literally, just as I'm walking up, straight away heard whispers. So. Inside, there are incomprehensible ruins carved into the wall. I can't see any type of ruins at all. Witches <laughs> marks, which are meant to protect the structure from evil spirits. As they explore the cave, they start to hear growls. I wouldn't. I would probably think there's a bear in there. Did you not hear Let me that, no, I talked over that, so I back it up a tight bit for you guys. Start to hear growls. What was that? I don't know if I already heard it. Did you guys hear that? Someone was walking right there. I hope the camera picked that up. This thing's going freaking nuts. Their K2 meter is going crazy, and then a giant mist picks up. Place. Somebody had a bag of it chips in there. Somebody was eating. Off center, but we haven't got the tech to be able to go that, too far into there. Is that like tr look at this mist. trash? Have people been in there? I wouldn't wait around for the being to manifest, considering this is Devil's Pit. I'd be afraid it was Satan himself. Number four, Stormy Poltergeist. Does bad All right, hold on. This is the last one. All right, now. hold on. This is the, like very interesting. and his team share this video of a poltergeist that becomes increasingly aggressive during a storm. First, it triggers their K2 meter. After making that snapping noise, it starts playing with their lights. Quando quanto mais perto o espírito tá do, do local aqui da gente, mais forte ele acende. Você compreende o que eu estou falando? O porcinho acende esse aparelho bem forte. Olha aí, viu o vermelho? Ele não tem. Then this happens. Cara do céu, velho. Por que que o senhor não responde mais? This seems clear to me that the answer is yes. Poltergeists are angered by bad weather, or at least this one is. Number three. Okay, well, goes. that was good. All right, well, that was. I know I only have three more left here, but I'm running out of time here for this magnificent video that was ever recorded. It's fun to actually, you know, do a react video and not actually play a game. Even I love gaming, but, you know, it's always fun to chill back and, you know, react for you guys as well, too. So, um, hold on. I probably can't really see me. Hopefully you can see me a little bit better now with the lighting, but, um... But it is going to have to wrap it up for this episode. Please let me know how you guys enjoyed this video. Something different. I know we just, we didn't do a gaming one. We just reacted. So it is a little bit different. But still tell me how, how did you guys like it? Did, did you enjoy it? Was it interesting? What could have been better? You know, what can I do next time? And always recommendations are uh, always cool as well. So you want me to react to something specific. Like a movie trailer or a game trailer or more scary videos. Just... Let me know and I'll do it. But um, other than that, that's really about it for this video here. I uh, did hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. A like, a comment, and subscribe. With that being said, social medias are all in the description. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. That being said, you guys take it easy. You guys stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Next one. Goodbye.